welcome to my sundress weather tag and I was not tagged by anyone but I saw this on I think her name is Alyssa um, Binion's channel and I will leave her channel below and I'm also going to tag some people to do this tag and your name will be in the description below and if I don't tag you and you're interested in doing this tag then please feel free to do it and you can say that I tagged you and I'm serious about that because I know a lot of people say that but and I think they really mean it and I do really mean it too when I say it so I'm just gonna get started and I have a little cheat sheet with the questions written on it so we're gonna go with my favorite candle scent so I'm going with the spring candle scent and I think these are great for spring the lilac blossom and then this is an air fresh candle that would be lilac I haven't burned these yet because I just finished a candle but I'm definitely going to be burning these very soon since um, it's May now and we don't have very much longer before summer but I think any kind of like floral candle would be nice to burn for this time of year springtime and then in summer, I like the coconut and tropical scents. But this smells really good. This is mostly lilac. And then there's also lily of the valley and violet. So this smells really, really good. Okay. Number two is iced coffee, iced tea, or lemonade. And I'm a southern girl. So I like the, I like the sweet iced tea sweet we really like sweet sweet tea here number three what is your best spring memory so every spring we have where i live it's called the azalea festival and they have like the bells you know the girls with the parasols is that what they're called the umbrellas like the fancy umbrellas and like the gowns they're called the bells and then they have parades and they have um but mostly the thing that we do during the azalea festival is go to the circus next year i'm going to look into going doing getting more involved with the bells and like going to the parade and where they crown the azalea queen or princess but my memories of spring are of the circus and um this year I feel like the circus wasn't as good as it was previous years so I don't know if we're gonna go back next year or not also just going to the park we have a really nice nature park where each spring we see lots of animals like turtles and baby turtles and ducks and you know the baby ducks have been born and we've seen them last year and this year last year we saw lots of little bunnies so i love that park i love taking my son there and he loves to play there it's kind of an industrial yeah. park seriously it's like an industrial park so we do yeah. that that's a good spring memory and i think that's about it spring break i love to spend spring break with him number four which makeup trend do you prefer gold eyes or orange lips definitely gold eyes i love the i think it's a really really pretty okay favorite perfume for spring and i am going with this one this is my favorite per like perfume is this perfume this is body spray not perfume the question is perfume but this is body spray um, in spring and summer, I like the light, sweet floral scents, and this has got honeysuckle, gala apple, and there is a floral in it. The floral is a very subtle, and um, I'm sorry, the apple is a very subtle in this scent. The floral is there. It is mostly floral and honeysuckle, and I just love this scent for spring. It's a really, really nice. What is spring weather like where you live? Where I live, um, this week we've had lots of rain, like downpours of rain. Um, we could get a tornado or two, but it's not typical. I live at the beach, if you don't know that. And 
Um, living at the beach in the summer, we get hurricanes, but also like these storm, the spring storms with the tornadoes and all that, the ocean can counteract that and push it like right back inland. So, um, I think, you know, and mostly the sunny pollen is everywhere. I think that's about the spring weather here. I love it. It gets you excited. Um, we have about a good um, month, month and a half of spring, and then summer pretty much hits full force here. Okay, my favorite flower. I think my favorite flower for spring is probably like tulips and daisies. I think those are my two favorites for spring. Okay. Number eight is my most worn sundress. So, when I'm just lounging around the house, this is definitely my most worn. I'm just going to the grocery store, and this is by, this is from Walmart, it's Faded Glory. It is just a really, really long, like, maxi dress, I guess. It goes all the way to the floor. And this is the top. So this is probably my most worn, or it was last spring and summer. So yep, and one of my favorites that was worn <laughs> is this dress. And this is kind of a flowy dress too, but it is shorter. Let me see if I can all the way up. It is shorter and it has this like ruffle detail from the shoulder all the way to the waist and it cinches in at the waist and then this side is just a strap and I love it. It is actually navy and white or maybe a off-white polka dot so I love that one and then my favorite nail polish or nail color for spring and I'm going to show you this one, these two because I'm excited <laughs> to do a look with these. So these are both yellow colors and this one, is, I have a look planned already to do with these. So this is um, by NYC, it is Taxi Yellow Cream and it looks like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this one is by Sally Hansen. And this is in the color Mellow Yellow 360. And it looks like this. So I'm excited to do a look with those. I haven't worn them yet in spring, but I'm definitely planning. That's going to be my next um, pop mani. Okay, number 10 is windows open or air conditioned? Both. Um, sometimes I leave the windows open just to get fresh air through the house and then sometimes I just love to have on the air condition. Of course, while the weather is nice, it's good to have the windows up and air your house out. So, and my husband prefers the windows open to air condition, but pretty much even when the windows are open, we have the air condition on and that's probably wasteful. But, you know, 11 is shorts are skirts both and dresses <laughs> i love shorts i love skirts i'm gonna tell you i don't love the short shorts and i don't love the short skirts i did when i was a teenager but now i'm a mother and i feel like you have to present yourself in a certain way and i like to be respected so um shorts at a reasonable um a reasonable place, you know. That doesn't make any sense. A reasonable length. Um, so short skirts and dresses. I stay in. Mostly dresses are more comfortable for me. But I love shorts and skirts from time to time. Number 12. Favorite thing about spring. So, you know, the flowers are blooming. And the weather is getting warmer. And you get so excited because, you know, summer is right around the corner. And um, my son is out for spring break, and I love spending time with him. I love having my child at home. I mean, I know some people are, like, ready for their kids to go to school, but I love having my son home. I love spending time with him. 
I think it's really important to spend time with your kids while they're young and because they're going to grow up and they're going to want to spend time with their friends instead of you and I'm like I'm just going to take advantage of all the time that I can get and that goes with the best spring break trip any plans for spring break we had plans for spring break and they got rained out like we were going to go to early gardens which we actually have done anyways we just going to do our plans that were for spring break we were going to though we were going to spend locally anyways because we have lots of stuff to do in our area we're very fortunate and um, there's another thing that I want to do with him and his cousin Espy, my cousin, she's my cousin too, but they're around, they're three months apart and they love each other. They love spending time together. They're like brother and sister. Everybody asks me, are they twins all the time? And everybody thinks they're siblings, but they're cousins and we always take her with us whenever we want to do something fun. Um, because her mother works and she's a single mom and she works hard to provide for her family so um we are going to go we did early gardens and we're going to go do putt putts hopefully within the May time because I want to do something I want to do these like outdoorsy things while the weather is nice because when summer gets here it is just it's kind of miserable you know it gets a really hot sweaty bugs Okay, number 14 are sandals, flats, or boat shoes. Um, I don't do boat shoes. I'm going to just say sandals and flats, and I'm going to show you a few of my favorites that I love for summer. I did last summer, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love them again this summer. These are just your comfy um, Nike, and they have like that, um, those cushions that like form to your feet, and they are pink. And look at this great bottoms these are great for just walking around and sightseeing these are so pretty I love these and they have a bow and they are dusty it's time to pull them out for spring so these are the simply Vera Vera Wang and I got these at Kohl's I believe and they have like the bling and they have the bow because I love bows just like my friend Jill loves bows too and then I have these these are apt nine I love these they have like a little wedge on them and they have a bow also and they're just like a great neutral color these can go with anything so I love them they have like the little buckle on the bow okay Number 15, what song gets you most ready for spring? I don't really have a song that gets me ready for spring. I'm going to be honest with you. I used to be really into music and now not so much. Like, I don't, I never, I don't, I don't really listen to the radio when I'm driving in the car. I mean, from time to time I do and if it's a great song, I'll turn it up. But not really. I mean... Usually when I'm driving, I'm just talking to whoever's riding with me, so I don't really listen to music. At home, I don't really listen to music. There's some oldies that I really like listening to, and when I say that, I mean like old school rap and hip hop and stuff like that. Some of the newer stuff is sound is really not my thing. <laughs> I don't like the songs that are talking about food or anything like that. Some of the newer songs I do like, especially like Rihanna, Eminem. Um, I do like some of Miley Cyrus. I like some of I do like Taylor Swift and Katy Perry. So I'm gonna say um, like Will Smith songs are probably great for spring and summer. So I don't know. Number 16, spring cleaning or declutter all year. I hate cleaning. I hate decluttering. I love watching Beverly from Living Eclectic because she inspires me to organize and declutter. Um, so I'm going to go with spring cleaning. I really get whipped up in that spring clean frenzy around this time of the year. <laughs> 
So I'm going with spring cleaning because, and I usually declutter during spring because you're kind of like, I have all my clothes in the closet, all my son's clothes in the closet, all my husband's clothes in the closet. I don't pack. I used to do that where you pack all your winter stuff away and then you um, bring it, wait a minute, you pack your seasonal clothes and you put them away somewhere and I quit doing that. Um, I like to see everything that I have that way I know I'm going to wear it and where I live one day it could be a nice beautiful 70, 70 degree day and then the next day we could have be back in the 50s or 40s again 40s or 50s again so I like to be able to dress for the weather too so I like to have everything out and all I do in the spring and summer is I kind of move my spring and summer stuff in the front more in the front where I can see it and just move the winter and fall stuff in the back. So while I'm doing that, I kind of go through, especially with my son's clothing because he is growing really, really fast. I kind of just take out everything that's too small for him. Yeah, yeah. Put it in a bag and then I will take it to resell at like a kid's place. Or I will give it to my little cousins. We have two little boy cousins. And they usually get his clothing. Or, you know, I'll take it to Goodwill. Or I'll throw it away if it's, like, tore up. But, I know that question's, that answer was really long. And, anyways, I'm going to have some people tagged in the description bar below. And if you weren't tagged and you're interested in doing this, then please say that I tagged you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.